Okay, we're here with uh, running back Byron Cardwell making his uh, Cal press conference debut for you guys. Uh, if you have questions for Byron, let me know in the chat and we'll call upon you. We'll go ahead and get started with uh, Jim McGill from Bear Insider for Byron. Go ahead. Hey, Byron. Welcome to Cal. Um, so it seemed like Cal was really in the game with you the first time out of high school. Did, um, did some of that early recruiting kind of stick with you when you were considering the portal? And what was it about Cal that was back with you? Yeah, yeah, I would say yes. Uh, I've always had a relationship with Coach uh, AT. Um, he's always had a relationship with my family since then. Always checked up on my sister with her softball and her sports. Uh, and just it was just a, always a family. Anytime I talk with any of the coaches when I was getting recruited uh, in high school, it was just always family. And even recently in the transfer portal, it was no drop off. Um, for me, the biggest thing with Cal was just just the family being back home in California, regardless if it's northern or southern. So I would say it, it was always the same for me. Coach AT, what was it about the, the Cal program that you like? We felt like it was good fit for you. Um, just coming in, uh, taking my trip my, during the transfer portal, and just seeing just what they had to offer, and just the great weather, uh, being here now, the great food. There's uh, there's so many different types of cultures out here, and it's very diverse. All the players are very welcoming, and everybody kind of just is going through the same. The same stuff, you know, same struggles. Just going to school at Cal for one, it's people. Uh, it's the number one public university in the in the country, and people just. I mean, people, but players on the team. Everybody has to deal with the rigorous schedule that we have, and also just playing football, having fun doing that. So, everybody's just kind of on the same same boat, same drums. Like everybody's drumming to the same beat. So, I would say that's kind of what I felt with Cal. Oh, for sure, 100%. Okay, we'll move on to Jake Curtis with Cal Sports Report. How would you describe your 2022 season? Can you repeat your question? Yeah, how, can, how would you describe your 2022 season? Uh, this past year, it was a, uh, it was a good season. Uh, many people looking from the outside in probably looked at it as a negative. But there was a lot of stuff that I needed to learn and that the Lord needed to show me uh, so I can appreciate this game that he created. So it was a great season last year, and I'm thankful that I went through and, 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 and had all the experiences, opportunities that I went through. I'm glad I went through that last season because it's made me into a better man in person and believer in, in my faith. Can, can you expand on that a little bit? Was it injury-related or...? Uh, I mean, I went through, I did have an injury last season. And I was out for a good amount of games. Uh, I ended up redshirting. I think after, when I was at Oregon, after we played Stanford, I redshirted just to get my body back healthy. Uh, and it was just kind of a lot of mental battle that I was going through. Uh, just not having an opportunity to play this game that I grew up loved and just wanted to play, didn't have opportunity. So, just kind of getting my mental, physical all back together uh, and just talking with my parents every day and just staying in the word, just kind of just fighting through it and just finding the positive in every day and not looking at it as a negative as a lot of people probably would and how I did it at one point. So just kind of changed my mindset on that and just working in the best way I could. Are you 100% healthy now? And, and what do you see your role at being account? I'm 100% uh, healthy for sure. Uh, my role at Cal is just to come here and be an agent of change, um, lead this team in the way that the Lord has uh, instilled in me, and just have fun. At the end of the day, if you're not having fun, then there's no point of doing what we're doing out here if you're not having fun. So that's my biggest thing is coming here and just being a light. And when the people see me, they see the Lord. Okay, we'll go to Ryan Young with Rivals. Hey, Byron. Everyone's very interested and curious about this new offense. What excites you about the offense from what you've learned about so far? Honestly, everything. Um, just the fact that I have opportunity now and to display the talents that the Lord has given me, is, it feels really, really, really well. Uh, just having, having an offensive line coach, just he, his mentality, his mindset, the way he 
to coaches in meetings and just how we are on the field, it is you I could tell it's gonna be a really good season. Um just the guys up front, they're just ready, uh and all all the guys in running back room we're all hungry, ready to put a name out there for us in this season. What impression has uh Jake Styles on that was winning? Can you can you repeat that question? Yeah, yeah. What's what's the actually about Jake Stafford also? Uh, just him wanting to just go out there and play ball, like no stress. Just go out there, have fun. Whatever our play is, do it to the best of our ability. Um, everybody in the country has great players, great coaches, but what makes us different, and that's just kind of the mindset and the message that has been just continuously spoken to us. Is how how can we do it better on our end? And just with Coach Spav, he just comes in with his knowledge and his talent and his experience that he's had in coaching. And he was here previously in 2016, and they had a great season that year. So just looking to build on that and just to continue to keep growing as a whole. And you kind of hinted at it, but how involved is Mike Flash with the running backs? Oh, very involved, um, just even down to pass pro, like everything making it easier on us. Um, so he's very involved. I feel like if offensive line and the running backs aren't involved with each other, you're not going to have a successful year running the ball or even protecting the quarterback. So, very involved. Just lastly for me, uh, what kind of relationship have you built with Jay not so far? Is, you know, it's kind of forming a tandem there with him. Oh, uh, man, we, we, you know what I'm saying? We're growing. Uh, I would say we're two alphas, and we just sharpen each other every day. There's no um, malice in our heart or negativity. It's just positive. Like, we're trying to get each other better. Um, and we just enjoy it every day. Go out there and work and compete, and we're pushing each other. So it's it's a very positive. I just I can appreciate that having a um, a group of guys where they welcome you in and they don't outcast you, um, and they're just very loving and, and welcoming. So it kind of helps you get more comfortable. And when you are comfortable in that sense, then you can thrive. And then just the relationship grows and your talent, and everything else, and it just is contagious. And everybody else on the team picks up on it. Thank you. Okay, yeah, is anybody else with a question for Byron? Okay, we'll catch him a bunch more times after practice this spring. So, Byron, thanks a lot for your time today. Thank you all for having me.